How's it going, everybody? Dr. Coin back at it again, and welcome to the Coin Cave. In this new series, we're going to be going over some of the largest and most valuable shipwreck discoveries of coins and bullion. Coins and precious metals have been a form of payment for thousands of years. One of the only ways to be able to transport large amounts of bullion overseas is by ship. Shortly after the discovery of the New World, Spain would learn of South America's great deposits of gold and silver and would deploy the Spanish fleet. During the 18th century, Americans would migrate out west to the area that is now known as San Francisco, and thus, the California Gold Rush would begin. Transporting the gold from the west coast to the east would prove extremely difficult, as the Panama Canal would not be constructed until decades later. At the time, what is now known as the Panama Canal was known as the Isthmus of Panama. Before the canal would be constructed, the Isthmus of Panama would be nothing more than rough terrain with a small river. Rather than sail all the way around South America, which at the time could be anywhere from a five to six month voyage, both trading parties would meet at each side of their respective oceans, one at the Pacific and one at the Atlantic, and they would use canoes or mules to transport goods or gold and bullion back and forth between the ships. There have been many lost and sunken treasures over the course of human history, but today we're going to be covering one that's a little more recent and hits a little bit closer to home, and that is the SS Central America, also known as the Ship of Gold. Before I do get into this video, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and you would like to see more coin collecting videos just like this. And then what do you say we get into it and explain all of the treasures that were found while excavating this old historic steamer ship. The SS Central America was a 280-foot side-wheel steamer that traveled between Central America and the East Coast in the United States throughout the 1850s. The ship sank in the year 1857 on September 11th and lost 425 of her 578 crew members in a raging hurricane. It also lost over 30,000 pounds of gold, contributing to a financial recession at the time, also known as the Panic of 1857. The ship left Panama on September 3rd and sailed for New York City with 9.1 tons of gold. After a short stop in Havana, the ship continued north, and on September 9th, it was caught up in a hurricane off of the coast of the Carolinas. The sails would be shredded by heavy winds, and the final nail in the coffin would come when the ship would start to leak water at the seals. A bucket brigade was formed to fight the rising water levels, but their efforts, though valiant, were in vain. The ship's boiler would fail, and thus the ability to steer the ship away from the storm would also be lost. The ship's captain, Commander William Lewis Herndon, ordered all of the women and children onto the deck of the ship. Several of the crewmates would grab bags of gold coins not entrusted to the ship's purser and start to scatter them amongst the decks. They would offer for the women and children to each take their share as they knew money would do them no good where they were going. Some of the ladies decided to help themselves but did not take any more than two $20 gold coins. Only 153 passengers made it away onto the lifeboats, most of which would be women and children. 425 souls would lose their life on that day. Commander William Lewis Herndon, a decorated officer who served in the Mexican-American War and also explored the Amazon Valley, was serving as captain of the USS Central America the day it went down and would go down with the ship as it sank. Over time, several American Navy ships, as well as a town in Virginia, would adopt the name Herndon in his honor. Once the ship was pulled down into the ocean's murky depths, it was swept out to sea and lost for over a hundred years. The ship was found in the year 1988 by the America Discovery Group using a remotely operated vehicle. Large amounts of gold were recovered by another remote control vessel designed to salvage the lost bullion. The total modern day value is estimated at 100 to 150 million dollars, with an 80 pound ingot included being sold for 8 million dollars, which at the time made it the most valuable piece of currency ever sold. 39 insurance companies filed suit after the discovery, claiming that because they had paid damages in the 19th century lawsuit for the lost gold, it should be entitled to its fair share. But after a long legal battle, 
92% would be awarded to the Discovery team. Soon after this first expedition, the company who led the exploration would be sued by its investors. As the legal battles raged on, the leader of the America Discovery Group took much of the salvaged gold and went into hiding in the year 2012. He would not be found until January 2015 and he would surrender 500 gold coins and would claim that he did not have access to any of the other gold that he had taken with him. In March 2014, a contract would be awarded to a new team to explore and recover the rest of the shipwreck. When the original team found the ship in 1988, only 5% of the USS Central America was excavated. In the 2014 excavation, another large hoard of gold coins and bullion would be found and would be sold to the California Gold Marketing Group. The USS Central America is a prime example of how industrious and prosperous America was in the mid-19th century. You know, there isn't a whole lot you can do when you're carrying 100 tons of gold in a steamship in the Atlantic Ocean during a hurricane. You know, we are humans and we are bound by certain laws. One of the greatest laws of all is the law of Mother Nature. She decides what happens, especially in the ocean. We are completely at her whim. A lot of the time, if you hear shipwreck and treasure in the same sentence, you will think it is either a fairy tale or has something to do with pirates. Or if it's real, maybe it has something to do with like the Sea of Cortez or the Spanish fleet or something. But the USS Central America, it didn't happen too long ago and it happened right off the eastern coast of the United States. I've actually heard stories of people sitting on beaches in Florida and the Carolinas and pieces of gold from the USS Central America washing up ashore. So if you live on the East Coast and you are at the beach, definitely keep your eyes peeled because you never know what you could step on. Wouldn't it be nice to step on a nice $10,000 gold ingot? And if you'd like to purchase one of these pieces graded, they are readily available online. You can get them at PCGS, NGC, Heritage Auctions. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. But until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.